Do people choose their identities? And if so, what determines those choices? In India, there's very different uh, religious identities. There are Muslims, there are Hindus, there are upper caste and lower caste Hindus, as well as other religious groups. And at the same time, there are strong ethnic identities coming from different parts of the country, speaking different languages, eating different foods. If these different religious and ethnic groups have strong norms and taboos relating to food consumption, then we may be able to sort of tease out identity choices from different consumption patterns between these groups across time. We basically sort of think about three different determinants of identity choices. The first is the salience of a particular identity. If, say, there's religious conflict, then you may be primed to be close to your religious group. The second force we look at is the status of your identity group. If your religion is very wealthy, you may be more likely to want to identify with that religion. We also explore a third force, which is a more economic force, simply the cost of identifying with a particular group. Say, for example, the sort of price of a typical ethnic bundle, the types of foods that you're used to eating as part of your ethnicity. What we find is that during Muslim Hindu riots, for Muslims, they abstain more from consuming their taboo goods, pork and alcohol, and the Hindus abstain more from consuming their taboo goods, beef or eating meat in general for upper caste Hindus. Not only do they abstain more from consuming uh, their own taboos, but actually they increase their consumption of others' taboos. For example, the Muslims increase their beef consumption and the Hindus increase their pork consumption. And this is sort of consistent with them moving away from sort of this shared ethnic identity and towards this religious identity. And under the shared ethnic identity, they respect each other's taboos. The economic cost channel also looms large. When the price of your sort of religious bundle goes up or your price of your ethnic bundle goes up, you're more likely to shift away from that group uh, towards the other one. Economic cost is actually used across the world in order to try and harden identities or shift people's identity choices. The literature to date has sort of focused on these social identity mechanisms uh, rather than economic ones, and we sort of find uh, that those uh, economic forces may be equally important.